Prime Wrestling Tuesday Night Prime Season 1, Episode 2. It is me, Mikey Bro, here with the one, the only, Cohen Bro. What's up, guys? What's up, Cohen? We're going to get quickly into it here in this edition of Prime Wrestling here on Pro Wrestling Sim. We're going to start off with a Prime Clash recap. Footage airs on Prime Day Clash, which is our takeover, showing highlights of Rey Mysterio being crowned the first ever Prime Wrestling World Champion, coupled with Private Party becoming the first ever Prime Wrestling World Tag Team Champions. Cohen, we get mixes of Adam Shear watching Kurt Angle's debut video, as well as Big Dave Batista having been announced to be arriving soon. We then fixate on the opening of last show with John Moxley coming out, only to be interrupted by Logan Paul and included Logan Paul's distraction. We then head to Ringso, where Morrow and JBL welcome us to the show. So 77 out the gate. We got popularity boost throughout. Let's get it going. All right. Next, John Moxley. All right, he calls out Logan Paul. Here we go. <clears throat> the scene opens up with guitar wrists, which send John Moxley out from the back. Down the ramp and into the ring where a microphone is placed in Moxley's hand. He says, Logan Paul, you little bitch. Get your ass out to the ring right now. The fans cheer. I'm not going to wait all day. As John Moxley waits, Bully Ray shows up on the ramp. Bully said, you said you left AEW. You said you left the E because of all the drama, all the politics, all the whining, all the bitching, all the C-O-M-P-L-I-N-G complaining. The fans boo. Remember, Cohen, Bully Ray is a master of the microphone. Bully says, and yet here you are doing exactly the same. Moxley smirks. Well, you're right, Bully. Why don't you get into the ring and I'll stop talking in my mouth and start talking with my fists. The fans are eating it all up. Bully says, all right. Bully drops his microphone and slowly paces toward the ring, but Moxley turns around just in the nick of time as Logan Paul has went out of his way through the crowd and has attempted to attack Moxley Cohen from behind. Moxley sidesteps Paul and sends him out of the ring towards Bully, who looks down at the fallen Paul and back to Moxley. What a way to start the first ever edition of Tuesday Night Prime, says Mauro Ronaldo. So in 82, Cohen, Moxley cut a pro-go, Bully cut a promo, and Moxley and Logan Paul brawled. We got an 82 for that segment, and everyone went quite a bit over on this one, Cohen. So, pretty good segment. All right, next, we got the video of The Clash rehyping. That's right, we get a video recapping Adam Shear watching the pending debut of Kurt Angle, which featured the major players walking up, Cardona mocking Angle. Adam Shear will be taking on Brian Myers of the major brothers, or of the major players, coming up next. So, 100 here, Cohen. 100 overall for Adam Shear. All right. All right, in a 67, that's right, a big, sexy 67 here, Cohen. Adam Shear gets the victory, only a two-star match. Popularity boost for both Shear and Myers. Intimidating presence of Shear added to the match. The count-out finish hurt the match, though, as the referee work of Drake works with good. So, Cohen, it was a count-out victory from Adam Shear tonight, as after repeated distractions and interference from the major players, they all decided that Adam is not worth their time right now. Adam Shear with a microphone post-match has a microphone and said the major players are leaving and asked them if they're scared of the big bad brawn. Name in Comey. Sarko Dunner and Myers hold back up the ramp. So here's my deal. Obviously WB has names trademarked, but I'm like, dude, you're an Amazon, you're Jeff Bezos, you're a multi-quadrillionaire. So he paid WB for the rights to whoever's name I want to change. Adam Shear is changing his name to Big Brawn. What do you think about that? That's a weird name. Should it be just Brawn? That's better than Big Brawn. Big... Oh, excuse me. His name is Bad Brawn. Big Bad Brawn? Big Brawn? What do you want him to change his name to? I, I, I don't Name will be in the next video. It'll be something with Brawn. All right. 67 here, though. All right, your next segment. We now get a hype video announcing the main event will be confirmed. Going tonight, it'll be JBL confirming that John Moxley will be taking on Bully Ray in the main event. So popularity boost throughout, man. JBL's got pretty good popularity from this kind of shit. 72% overall, Cohen. All right, next, we have the debut of Johnny Prime defeating Davey Richards here. Uh, Johnny Prime with a pretty good victory here, 75%. Obviously, Johnny everything changes his last name to whatever promotion he's in. Cohen, I, I, I know you've always been a fan of Johnny. So what do you think about his debut here? And what do you think of the name Johnny Prime? Um, hopefully he has a big future in Prime Wrestling. Hopefully. Four-star match, Cohen, not bad. Him and Davey Richards tore the house down. All right, next up, we have uh, Rene Paquette. Backstage with Rey Mysterio. As we come back from the break, Rey Mysterio Paquette is standing back with Rey Mysterio as the Prime Wrestling World Champion makes his way to the ring. Paquette says, "Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Rey Mysterio." The fans begin to cheer and chant for Rey. Mysterio says to the fans, "Thanks, Renee. We did it." Remember, he said this is his one last run, his one last opportunity. Rey Mysterio is going to start here in Prime Wrestling and help them do everything they need to do to get to get to the big times. Ray raises his belt, and upon doing so, Cohen, as he raises his belt, the lights go out. Ooh, interesting. 
The lights remain out for quite some time, and upon coming back, Renee is no longer in the ring, but her microphone lays at the foot of Rey Mysterio, who looks confused. Rey can be heard audibly asking where is Renee as he looks around and semi panics Cohen from Oxley. The confusion leads us to a commercial break, though, Cohen. The Prime World Champion, Rey Mysterio, in the ring alone, so he raises championship. The lights go out. Renee is nowhere to be seen, Cohen. What do you think about that? 78% overall. Um, I wonder who was behind the lights. Cohen, you're not, you don't have very much energy right now. More energy, 78%. Next, we get another debut segment that says, Kurt Angle is coming to Prime Wrestling. All right, <clears throat> so 100% here. Kurt Angle is debuting soon here in Prime. Next up, though, we have Lexi Kaufman, formerly known as Alexa Bliss, with the big victory over tonight over Victoria AF. Uh, obviously, you can't see Cohen from where you're sitting, but that's Victoria, a.k.a. Alicia Fox, from WWE, Lexi Kaufman. We're going to go with that instead of Alexa Bliss. After the match, though, we see a familiar riff through the arena as the Bella Twins, Nikki and Bree. Yes, Bezos got the naming rights that I talked about earlier. The Bellas simply look at Lexi after beating their good friend, Victoria AF, before the scene shift. So it's kind of funny because you know the AF is as fuck, right? But AF, she used to be Alicia Fox, and her real name is Victoria, so she's Victoria AF. Like Victoria as fuck, but really Victoria for Alicia Fox. It all works. Lexi Coffin with the victory here tonight. The Bella Twins look at Lexi at the top of the match after. 75%. Big Dave Batista, we get another promo saying he's coming soon. All right, next we have private party, private party backstage to an 83%. Wow. All right. Uh, it says, the camera fades backstage with private party as a duo upon the wrestling screen with a World Prime Team Team Championships. They were supposed to be in the back with Renee Young, but of course, we don't know where she went. The duo briefly begin to speak as the lights go out in the area in which they're standing, and when they come back on, both Mark Quinn and Isaiah are laid out on the ground. Stage hands rush over, agents rush over, eerily similar to the situation with Rey Mysterio, sands the attack earlier in the show, lights go out on the private party, so now we've had our world champion targeted with Renee pa Paquette and our tag team champions targeted. What's going on here? We don't know. 83%. Alright, not bad. Next segment, we have a big entrance for John. Moxley. The Wild Thing Blairs as Moxley makes his entrance through the crowd. 93% bing, bang, boom. Him and Bully Ray, here we go. And it's a draw three-star match. That's right, a non-finish here. The fans absolutely hate it. The bell sounds as the referee has lost control, and now Moxley is brawling with both Bully and Rogan at ringside, up the ramp, in the fans. They're all over the place. Just as John Moxley gets the upper hand on Bully Ray, Logan Paul hits him with a low blow. The two-on-one attack, a.k.a. assault, a.k.a. mutilation of John Moxley continues until Logan Paul Cohen is able to head to the top rope and hits his huge, uh, what does he call it? His influencer splash. Logan Paul celebrates with Bully Ray standing. And we're going to end the show with Logan Paul. That's right. Logan Paul standing tall over John Moxley. 77%. Let's see what we got for the show, though. So we got 0.3 throughout, a 78, not bad, Cohen. So again, quite the show. The Bella Twins stand, uh, show up. We have Rey Mysterio losing Renee Paquette somehow. We have a private party getting laid out. Lexi Coffin making her debut to the Bella Twins. Logan Paul laying out Don Moxley. Don Moxley. And we had Johnny Prime making his debut. So pretty good show, pretty sports entertainment he booked. Um, we're going to go to Andy here now today with the first ever Tuesday Night Prime. And until next time, it is me, Mikey Bro, with Cohen wishing you a glorious rest of your day. A.